actually tagged by anybody, but as always, I do what I want on this channel, so we're doing the tag, even though I wasn't tagged, so. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a tag video. I'm going to be doing the OK So Booksickly tag, which was originally created by OK So Booksickly. That is so hard to say. But I'll leave his video down below if you want to check that out and get all the questions. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is, tell us about your channel name and your real name. My channel name is The Awkward Bookworm, or JG. Obviously JG because my name is Jay, so like, makes sense, you know? The Awkward Bookworm because I'm very awkward. I'm sure if you've been on this channel for a while, you guys know that. Bookworm because it's a book and worm, and that's a person who reads books, and you know, I read books, so... The awkward bookworm was born. And then my real name is not actually Jay, it's technically Jay Ann, and it's a combination of my mom's name and my dad's name put together. It's like a super long story if I actually go through it, but it's basically James and Marianne squished together to make Jay Ann. How very original they are. The second question is to open Instagram and then talk about the first three images. I did this before filming, so I'm just going to show you guys the pictures. I don't know if it's actually going to focus, but maybe I'll like put a little screen cap. This is the first picture. Ooh, uh. It's just like two people lifting each other up in the Rockies. Which is in Canada. I'm sure everybody knows what the Rockies are. They're these huge mountains. But like, I would just like to say, I would like to have a man that could lift me up like that. And also I would like to be flexible enough to get my legs to do the, that. I can't do that. That's not a thing. The second picture is the one that I'm like the most obsessed with. It's actually a video, but it's a little corgi getting his little face rubbed. And corgis are like my absolute favorite dog. I think they're the cutest things. I don't even care. People are like, they're so gross. Like their legs are too short for their bodies. Yeah. And that's what makes them amazing because they're so freaking tiny. And have you ever seen a corgi flop? Corgi flops are the most hilarious thing in the entire world. It's like when they try to jump and they can't jump. So they just like, I just, I love it so much. I think it's so funny. And then the final picture was pizza. And you know, that seems accurate because I love pizza. And also would like to point out that there's pineapple on this pizza. And if any of you don't like pineapple on your pizza, you're wrong. So that's my stance on the pineapple on pizza. Stance. Stand? Conflict? I don't know what it's called, but I like pineapple on pizza. So <laughs> just saying. Number three is to open YouTube and talk about the first three videos. So I guess I will do that now. Is this supposed to be like your homepage or like your subscriber? I don't know. So oh, the first is 50 Terrible Celebrity Impressions by Superfruit. I love Superfruit. It's two members of Pentatonix, who is a acapella group, and it's Mitch, who is like my all-time favorite, and then Scott, who's my second all-time favorite, so like, I love that they're best friends, and they make videos together, but they are so funny. I don't think I've actually watched this ones from two years ago. I probably was subscribed to them, but I don't remember watching this video, but like... They are so funny, and if you have not listened to Pentatonix's music, you should do that because they're real good. I'm just going to refresh and then we'll see what videos The next. next video is Noah Cyrus Performs Make Me Cry with special guest Labyrinth by The Ellen Show. And I actually really like this song. If you guys haven't heard it, like, she sounds a lot like Miley Cyrus, and I really like Miley Cyrus. A lot of people are like, she's crazy, like, ew, no. But honestly, I think she's so talented. Like, she's so underrated. I don't even care that she went off the deep end and turned crazy. Like, her voice is so underrated and she can do so many ranges and she, oh, she's just, she's so underrated and I love her and I don't care what anybody says. This is her sister and this is her first song and it's actually really good. But her acoustic version of it is so much better than her live version or like her non-acoustic version. Every time I refresh, it's just Pentatonix. So like, I feel like I don't want to talk about Pentatonix again. So I'm just going to keep refreshing until it's not Pentatonix again. The next one is Joe Santango. Oh, I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's his Idiots of the Internet, part 13. I honestly think he's just so funny. Just the way he like yells at the camera. His reactions are just so funny to me. Like he just sits there and he's like, why are you guys so stupid? And I'm like, this is literally my life because I think about this all the time. And like, I just, some people, they're just idiots and you got to call them out, you know? But his videos are really funny if you haven't heard of him or watched his videos, I suggest it because they're actually really entertaining. Number four is your favorite song to listen to while reading or writing and how many plays does it have? I actually don't listen to music while I'm reading or I get distracted and just sing all the songs. I also don't write because I'm not creative and just I don't do that. But I can go on my iTunes and find my most played song if you want. It's probably John Bellion to be honest. It has to load because I'm not prepared for this video because when am I ever doing things that I'm supposed to do? And of course my laptop's gonna be super duper slow right now because logic, you know? It's John Bellion's Eyes to the Sky and it's been played 764 times. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I love John Bellion and I just listen to him on repeat far too often. <laughs> the fifth question is to pick your favorite book on your shelf. I would say Night Film, but I don't have 
it anymore because somebody took it and it's not ever going to be returned to me. So, I'm gonna say it's Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. This book is so underrated. It is so good. If you have not read it, go to Amazon right now and get a copy of it because it's so good. Honestly, you'll probably be super confused for the first, like, 100 pages or so, but, like, push through. Once you get to, like, where all it makes sense and everything's explained, it's, like, you can't put it down. It's so good. Number six is your favorite bookish thing that you use as a prop in your videos or your pictures. I don't take pictures, so I guess it would just be, like, my vinyl figures. Like, they're not really bookish. I don't think I have any book characters. That's technically, like, Alice in Wonderland and, like, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, you know. I guess that counts. So yeah, I guess I would say my vinyl figures, which I am obsessed with because I have no self-control and just keep buying them. Number seven is three books that you are dying to reread but probably never will. I don't reread books anyways, so I mean like this question doesn't really affect me at all. But I guess I would probably say The Lunar Chronicles. Be because I love that series. I would say any Ellen Hopkins book. I love them and they're pretty fast to read so I guess like if I had to reread a book I'd probably pick one of those. I would say Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas but only if I didn't know the ending and I could like experience that ending again because like damn. Number eight is Amazing Bookish Finds. I don't really have any. I guess I would say Finding Night Film at the dollar store for three dollars. Like a hardcover and it was just beautiful. And like I don't have it anymore and I'm still bitter about it and I keep going back to the dollar store to try to find another copy. It's never gonna happen but like three dollars for a hardcover book like <gasps> it was amazing and I squealed like a little girl. Number nine is your hottest author or author crush. Honestly I don't really look at what authors look like but I googled hottest authors and can I just say this, this man right here he's beautiful. His name is Jens Lapidus and he wrote the Stockholm Noir trilogy. Never even heard of those books but look at his face. Oh my gosh, he's just beautiful. He's from Sweden, so like a little Swedish boy. And I would just, I would love this man. So, Jens, if you're watching this, which I know you are, call me. Alright guys, so that was the So Booksically tag. That actually came out so well. Wow, round of applause for Jay for actually being able to say the tag video. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.